two of the biggest names in the global game going head to head. Football matches barely come any more mouth-watering than the Derby d'Italia. It is a fixture that has seen so many great moments over the years. Great goals, great players. And every time Derby Day comes around again, it feels like the first time. And fans expect something special. It asks an awful lot, of course, of the players to perform amid such a big atmosphere. But these are amongst the world's biggest stars. And it is for days like this that they invest so much in their careers. It is feverish ahead of kickoff. Nothing, of course, is certain. The fans have been going at it full tilt for hours now, turning the stadium into a real bear pit. The moment comes, though, when fans turn their attention only to the players and players to the task ahead. These are the days when legends are made. The stands here, the Corva, as the locals call them, make for quite an impressive sight, all in support of the grand old lady of the Italian game. Well, they call this a friendly, but the crowd clearly doesn't think so. No, in actual fact, the way. Well, in games of this nature, as a player, Peter, you only want to work as hard as demanded. You don't want to have to go at it full pelt. But when the opposition is what it is, all of that kind of goes out the window. The challenge here will ask more of you, and so both teams will, will wish to, to give more than they take. It's one of those games, Peter, where if the opposition increase their effort, you have to follow it. There's the whistle. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Romelu Lukaku, his physical characteristics are very... Cristiano Ronaldo! That's a cracking strike and it may have stung the palms of the keeper. Skrinja, Valero, Borja Valero drives it forward. Pjanic, Alexandro. He's pinged one through here. Valero, Pjanic, that's a promising ball, hits one! Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Save. He got a decent fist on that. And here's Pjanic. Dybala. Chance! Oh, good effort. He got plenty on that. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. Bardella. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's Dybala. Iguain. Iguain! That had everyone off their seats. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. Done very well to intervene. Hoists it forward. Dybala, and here's Higuain, it's Cristiano Ronaldo! It's off target and by quite a way. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. Higuain and here's Cristiano Ronaldo now it's Rabio massive leap in 
Peter have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Valero. Dybala. Alexandro. Rabio. And here's Sandro. Great leap! Hits it again, but still no joy. Juventus are literally using their heads with some very good service, but it's time for someone to add authority. off the ball he's gone down but the referee just tells him to get back up again and it's Lukaku good challenge he just stood firm the lift Juventus going about it patiently perhaps too patiently it's a loose ball Gone a long way up and away. And there's the end of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. How's the first half compared with your expectation? Mm -hmm. Juventus may probably be feeling a, a little aggrieved about not capitalising on such a bright start. Their mood at half time should be more upbeat. The glass remains half full and it should spur them on. Juventus head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were when they started out. There's the start of the second half. Juventus can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Now it's Lukaku, Ashley Young, Lukaku looking to get on the end of this. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself, lovely to see. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Iguain. Quadrado. Quadrado crosses. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Juventus have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. <laughs> Keeper's got good distance on that. De Ligt battles to win it back. Quadrado. Pjanic is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Well, they've got to deny him time and space, and, and that's one way of ensuring it. Dybala! Oh, that was close. were asked and he's given the answers Quadrado and the shot had a swing but it wasn't to be listen I'm not sure he had to go at that first time but at least he showed some good confidence
changes here from both sides in fact Dybala dashing forward at pace Quadrado and it's played forward Ramsey Dybala and Dybala in it goes just the pick me up the whole game needs yeah, looking back at that that's how you play on the counter quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish I thought it was a stunning stunning breakaway Juventus making consecutive changes here. Juventus take the lead. Well, we certainly had to wait for it, Peter. Now a difficult decision. Is it stick or twist? Bastoni. Bastoni goes looking. Now it's Lukaku, over to the left, aimed in towards the towering header, so close to drawing level, Lukaku couldn't quite put that away but there's plenty of positives in how they've responded. Inter Milan are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Skrinja. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Here's Lukaku. Inter are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Pjanic. Receives it in a good position. Loose ball, who's going to get there? It's Cristiano Ronaldo! He's pulled off a fine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. to overcommit now, their priority lies further back. Juventus need to hold on for a few more moments. And it's Ramsey. Bernadeschi! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. You lucky boy, you lucky, lucky boy. Giving the ball away like that is usually punished. Bonucci forward it goes he's made sure that that won't get through Ramsey and that's it what a game 
end to end it flew by and in the end it all came down to just the odd goal in the end of the game reflections Juventus made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do these games are always tough you know it's it's not always about form it's not always about class or style it's about pride and they showed loads of that their attitude was spot on today so many thanks to Jim Beglin that's all we have time for good evening to you